All right, welcome. Hi, everybody. Um, surprise! I know I usually don't go live on Wednesdays, but I just wanted to tell you about something I'm super, super excited about that I think all of you need to hear about. Um, and that is a summit, an online summit that's coming up in September, September 2nd through the 9th, about dog anxiety, something yes. that unfortunately so many of us struggle with. And I just really want to quickly introduce my amazing new friend, Dr. Edward. He is the healing vet. I mean, he's not a little vet. He's the healing vet. I love this little combo here. Um, Dr. Edward, can you tell us a little bit about the summit and what to expect, who's going to be there and all that fun stuff? Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you about everyone who's speaking in a minute. I am so excited that we're finally coming down to the well, the starting line for everyone who's going to be watching, but kind of like the finish line for me because we've been working away in the trenches for about six months. Um, I am I do a lot of work with helping anxious um, behaviour problem dogs and it's a real passion of mine to, to be able to make a difference for these dogs because I think one of the things about anxiety is that I believe a lot of people don't actually realise how much distress their anxious dogs are experiencing and how much internal mental and emotional suffering is going on. Um, one of the things that I talk about is, is the four faces of anxiety. So you have the dogs that fight, they're the ones that are lunging and coming at you. You have the dogs that flee, they're the ones that are running away and if they come in to see me at the vent clinic, hiding under the chair and not wanting to talk to me. Mm -hmm. um, and we have two other faces that I think a lot of people are not so aware of. We have the dogs that freeze. So if you ever take your dog somewhere and, and they just go still, um, the dogs that freeze, they look calm, but internally they're anything but calm. Internally they're suffering, um, you know, mental, emotional pain and distress. And then we have the fourth face, which I think a lot of people miss, which is the fidget. They're the mm -hmm. ones that that seem to be super happy, crazy, playful, jumping all over people and stuff like that. And, and that is actually a, a really important face of anxiety that I, I believe people need to know about. And a lot of people miss. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. Um, I am just so seeing the need for something like this right now, at least in the animals that I've been seeing in practice and um, that people have been reaching out to me about, especially because of the state of the world right now yeah. with everybody getting COVID puppies and everything and them lacking the socialization skills and not used to having their people even leave. So I know um, in my talk in the summit, I talk specifically about separation anxiety and how essential oils can help. So I'm really super excited about that. So all of you guys that want to see that one, you definitely want to sign up for this. Summit. Totally. <laughs> totally um, agree. Um, um, you know, but I just, I just see such a need and I just, the timing of this is just so wonderful and I'm, I'm just really, really excited about it. So how, how exactly does a summit work? Can you kind of explain that for people? Okay. So um, how the summit works is that, that you can attend live for totally free. Um, it's going to be kicking off. We've got a little, uh, a little a kickoff party or a, a panel of, uh, me and three of the other expert speakers that's going to happen on the 1st of September. And then right over the weekend, we're going to have the four days live where you can drop in and each day you'll have 24 hours available to watch all the presentations online. Um, each morning of those days, I will be doing a, a live Q&A where you can drop in, you can ask me anything you like about what's going on with your anxious dogs, uh, or anything you like about any of the content that's in the presentations. Uh, registrations are open now. If you if you register now, you'll get early access to a talk from me straight away, uh, where I talk about how I see anxiety as arousal with nowhere to go. You get these dogs that get stuck in fight flight mode, and they've lost the ability to regulate easily and comfortably back to to what I call healthy relaxation. So I go into depth about that and talk about um, some things you can do to, to, to hopefully help your anxious dogs with that. 
I think there's a second free talk available immediately by one of our sponsors, which is a sort of a, a practical risk, practical approach to, let me have a look, I'll just make sure I get the wording right. Um, from uh, Reducing anxiety, an objective approach to, to a stress-free pet from, from Jed Davis from Poly Pet Products, uh, which are a really lovely line of supplements, which um, not only help, you know, overall well-being, but can help with anxiety too. Uh, and there's some other free goodies. There's a, there's a, um, and I've, I've written about a four or five thousand word ebook, uh, which is understanding and treating anxiety holistically in dogs. So um, that's just a big brain dump from me and, and how I, how I work holistically with anxious dogs. And, you know, I'm super excited to have Dr. Janet with all the essential oil wisdom going on. I learned a stack when I did the interview with, with Dr. Janet. In fact, I've learned so much from hosting this summit. Um, I've been a veterinarian for 27 years and, you know, I learned stacks. So if I learn stacks, imagine how much you'll learn if you don't mm -hmm. already have that, that veterinary wisdom. So one of the things that I've really focused on when we're putting together the, the, um, the speakers for this summit was to get a really broad spectrum to get um, mm -hmm. holistic veterinarians to get holistic and alternative practitioners so we have some energy healers and animal communicators and and more the intuitive side of things we have a, a, a physiotherapist we have a range of world leading positive reinforcement dog trainers mm -hmm. and um, we we even have a board certified veterinary behavior specialist which i'm so awesome. happy about because one of my things is that i believe if you want to have a holistic approach you really have to look at all the options and that that includes the more allopathic prescription type medications they're, they're never really my first choice mm -hmm. but if i just don't look at them um you know i might be condemning some dogs to not actually being able to heal and have calm and ease in their life in the way that they would with those medications. And, and you know, you'd know that our communities, where as holistic vets, we get a lot of people who come in and say, I, don't, I just don't want to give any prescription medications. Like they're poison. And mm -hmm. um, that can be sort of interesting, yeah? Yeah, I mean, um, my approach definitely is, and I think most of my folks that, that are watching this video probably know this, is a little bit more integrative and so, and very kind of middle of the road commonsensical. Like, there yeah. are going to be cases where if you have a dog that is aggressive or hurting themselves because their level of anxiety and how they um, manifest that is is just dangerous absolutely some pharmaceuticals might be necessary to get them kind of over the hump so that we can start handling it yeah. with more natural solutions and behavior training and things like that. Um, and then eventually wean them off potentially of that medication later on down the road. But I mean, that's absolutely life-saving and for some of these dogs that are the, in, have these extreme cases. Now, what a lot of people have are these kind of lesser cases where maybe their animals aren't like hurting mm -hmm. themselves or hurting other people. And we can absolutely use some more natural things like the supplements you were talking about and essential oils and other things to make sure that they don't get to that level where they start absolutely. like overreacting. And a lot of it is the personality of the dog and um, in kind of their history as well. I mean, I, I, work with a lot of people who have rescues and they we don't know their history and sometimes they do act act out in a way that's just unsafe and you have to keep the animal safe and you have to keep the the people safe too and and that is number one number one and then let's handle the situation and kind of maybe weed them off the pharmaceuticals after we establish that you know a baseline of health you know what i mean so that's kind of my approach and um and how i teach it as well to my folks so yeah yeah look i totally agree you know and mitzi here mitzi the wonder dog um he's a kind of reactive little guy he's um a few years ago uh you couldn't really you'd never let him off lead in, in an in a dog park or anything and and you know 
probably eight times out of ten when a dog came over, I'd have to pick him up because he's getting going up across his red line and mm-hmm. and you know worried about big dog stepping on him probably because he's a pretty little guy but um yeah i apply that too and you know touch a therapeutic touch flower essences uh natural supplements there's a stack of natural supplements and essential oils and and behavior modification with positive reinforcement there's a lot we can do that is totally natural Mm -hmm. and um but, but you know i had a 37 kilo 18 month old um just out of control standard poodle in yesterday in the clinic and this dog you know they can't take him in the backyard and mm-hmm. let him off the lead because he's goes into hyper excitation and is grabbing everyone by the clothes and by mouthing people and jumping on people so we're giving him some medication <laughs> we want to he we want to soothe that little fellow a little bit so that we can start to make everything else work and often often it can be a bridge too you know mm-hmm. to like you said, yeah Oh, Mitzi, don't lick me. <laughs> He's like, thank you. Thank you, Doc. All right. Oh, no, so, what, what, is, what he's saying is you, you stop patting me. What do you think's going on here? It's much more important <laughs> like, you pat me than talk to these people. It's like you can pat me and talk about me, but nothing else. <laughs> very, very self-absorbed. I love it. Um, I have so many like that. Um, so tell us more about who, who all is going to be um, in the summit. Let's run through the program then. So cool, we've, cool, cool. we've got four days with four different themes for each day. First day, the theme is understanding anxiety in dogs. Um, and my talk about anxiety as arousal with nowhere to go is in there. We've got Dr. Ava Freak, who's another holistic integrative veterinarian, who's talking about getting to the why of anxiety. So getting to what causes these kind of problems. And she'll be sharing her sort of novel a treatment approach that she's developed um, to treating anxious dogs over many, many years in practice. We've got Dr. Christina Chambro who's talking about understanding and resolving human and environmental triggers for anxiety in dogs. Mm-hmm. And then we've, of course, got Dr. Janet who's talking about separation anxiety and essential oils. Um, so if you're in one of Dr... Janet's beautiful community of people. You'll want to make sure you're there on day one to catch that one. Um, then we've got Anna Maria Vasquez, who's uh, more on the intuitive side. She does um, animal communication and energy healing. And her, the topic there is everything is energy, anxiety in dogs and the energetics behind and underneath it. Now, Mitzi, I think, wants to get down. He does. Well, let Mitzi get off. Oh, off you go. Um, We've got Laurie Edge Hughes, who's a physiotherapist. She's going to be talking about sensory integration um, and anxiety in dogs and how we can work with sensory stimulation to help anxious dogs. That's day one. Then day two is where we really dig into the more alternative and holistic options for, for treating and healing and helping anxious dogs. We've got Dr. Jean Hoffi, who's talking about flower essences. Uh, Lisa Spector, who's a Juilliard degree Um, performance pianist musician who's created this special kind of music that that helps dogs that who are anxious to calm and relax that's being that music's being used in thousands of uh, rescue shelters and in the rescue shelters they found that not only are the rescue dogs calmer but their their adoption rates have increased significantly Mm -hmm. when they have this music in the environment Mm, love it we've got Dr. Jeff Feynman is talking about the vitality and balance system and particularly a very simple, easy way to keep track of how your anxious dog is going, like a a sort of an objective measurement system. We've got Dr. Kara Gubbins, who is a a world-leading animal communicator and teacher of animal communication. She's talking about how animal communication can and can't help dogs with anxiety. Um, Dr. Barry Sands is talking about creating harmony and coherence within yourself to help your anxious pets. And then we Mm -hmm. have um, Jed Davis with the reducing anxiety and objective approach to a stress-free pet. So that's the first two days. What do you think of that? Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Are you back? I think I lost you for um, a second. Hang on. We just dropped out there for a moment. 
Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let me add to the stream. We've got just me on the stream, I think. Are you I there? can hear you. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, well, I'm on there, I think. I don't know what it what it looks like on Facebook, but we can keep going. Go ahead and keep going. So that was was that just the first day? That was the first two days. First two days, awesome. Let me double okay. check. I don't know if we're still live or not here. It looks like we're still live. So let me um, run over. Let me check my Facebook really quick and make sure we're oh, still. Oh no, here we are. Looks like we're yeah, still there. We're still there. Lots of comments. Lots of comments there. Maybe we can take a question yeah. or two at the end. Okay, we just had a little technological hiccup. So let's talk about what's happening on day three and day four. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Um. Let me see. So day three, we're talking about dog training, socialization, and you know, positive reward training for behavior modification to help anxious dogs. We've got Dr. Ian Dunbar, who is like the godfather of behavior and training in dogs. He's amazing. Um, he's going to be talking about fear periods in puppies and de developmental stages. And what he's really saying in this talk is that he doesn't believe that fear periods are even a thing if you socialize your puppies properly. Uh, we've got Teodi Anderson who's talking about why aversives make anxiety worse and why you should avoid mm -hmm. them in all dogs, but especially in anxious dogs. Um, and, you know, aversives are anything that is uncomfortable, painful or fearful for the dog and at the extreme are things like shock collars and, and prong collars. We've got Kamal Fernandez, who's another world-leading trainer, who's going to be talking about positive reinforcement and how to use positive reinforcement training in behaviour modification for our anxious dogs. And we've got Ness Jones, who's another trainer, who's got particular expertise in um, separation anxiety. So she talks about um, how to tell for sure whether your dog doesn't does or doesn't have separation anxiety and um, goes into the importance of thresholds and being able to read whether mm -hmm. your dog's in green, orange, red zone and, and managing all that. Then on day four, um, we're talking about veterinary treatment of anxiety. We've got Dr. Alex Avery, an integrated vet from New Zealand, who is um, going to dig into why having a veterinary, a thorough veterinary examination to um, make sure you're not missing pain or other diseases that might be causing or contributing the anxiety, because if you don't find things like that, sometimes treatment doesn't work very well. We've got Dr. Christopher Packel, who's the our, our board certified specialist, animal veterinary behaviorist. He's gonna be talking about veterinary prescription medications and when and why they may be needed. We've got Dr. Matthew Muir from Australia, who's uh, gonna talk about integrative medicine, herbal medicine and diet for anxiety. We've got Dr. Sharice Roth, who's going to come at this whole thing from a, a bit of a different angle in terms of talking about stress and anxiety in the veterinarians and other pet wellness professionals or trainers that you might be working with. And, you know, how to support your vet to support your dog in, in a way. I'll be talking about healing anxiety with intentional touch. Over the last 10 or 15 years, I've developed some, some intentional touch techniques that I've had really some spectacular and, and, and a lot of other good success with. For instance, we had Clyde, the staffy a few years ago come in, was eating the house when left alone, really extreme separation anxiety. And just two weeks of, of this kind of body work and all that destructive behavior had totally gone. He wasn't even getting off his bed some days when his mum came back from work, <laughs> which is kind of cool. And then our last speaker on day four is Dr. Fossum, who's also a board certified specialist, a specialist surgeon who has um, found out just how wonderful CBD and cannabis extracts can be for, mm -hmm. for healing anxiety. And she's going to be talking about CBD and, and how that can be used for anxious dogs. So as you can see, we've got four days jam packed with, just the most amazing wisdom. 
Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a rock star lineup of international veterinarians, behaviorists, trainers, people from all aspects of of medicine and caring for dogs. Um, from like totally holistic kind of woo woo stuff like me, and then like <laughs> all the way to like board certified surgeons and things like that. This is so cool, and it's just really an unbelievable lineup that that you've put together. And I just want to thank you for doing this because it's you know, Doctor Edward, this is going to help so many dogs all over the world. And it, all we have to do is just invite people to it because it's totally free. So I put the link on the um, on the screen. I also posted it in the chat. It's also in the description. So there's no excuses, guys. <laughs> like, oh, um, free it's essential forward slash dog anxiety. It'll take you to the summit um, registration page and you will be able to register for that. Um, once you register, I believe you guys will, will send out a bunch of um, reminder yep. emails to make sure that you won't forget about it so that you'll be able to log in for day one. You'll get immediate access to two talks, right? The one from you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Edward, and the That's one fun. about the supplements as well as your ebook, yep. right? Immediate access to that. So you guys can get that right away. You don't have to wait all the way until September 2nd when it starts. Um, but the, the access to the actual, the rest of the talks will be, will be starting on September 2nd. So thank That's you so true. much, Edward. Is there yeah. anything else? Yeah, go ahead. Well, there's a couple of things I want to say. One is that, that you will be offered the opportunity to, to get a VIP pass where you get lifetime access. And oh, if you cool. hop on that, you'll get instant access to all the talks right now. And yeah. I, got, I got to tell you, I think it's highly recommended that you do jump on that because there's a lot of information in these talks. And if you've got an anxious dog, there's probably going to be several of these talks that you're going to want to watch two or three times to, to, to let it digest and sink in properly. And the other thing is, you know, I've, I've got an, an invitation for you, which is to really share the heck out of this because this information could literally be the difference between life and death for an anxious dog somewhere in your social networks could be a, a friend or a friend of a friend who shares something that you share. Um, there could be someone out there who is at their wits end, like the people with the poodle I saw yesterday, who's got tooth marks all over her hands. And it's just like, what do I do with this dog? I love this dog. I'm in tears because I feel like I can't help my dog. And the information in this summit could make a huge difference out there in the world. So, you know, I really, really love it if you could, um, tell all your friends, invite all your friends, uh, totally free. Of course, I you do have the potential to get the VIP pass, which I think is a, a, a no-brainer, a ridiculously good investment to have this for yeah. a lifetime. But, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing you all, all of um, Janet, uh, all the um, the oh, essential okay. oil community in the, in the Q&As yeah. that I'll be opening up every morning of the summit so you can come and ask me questions and I can help you out with your anxious dogs. Yes. And I think the, the way normal VIPs work, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I actually don't know this information, but like with the VIP access, I believe once the summit starts, the price for that VIP package actually goes up, right? So like you can get it at a really, really good deal right now and have a lifetime access to the best of the best information about dog anxiety. So if you don't have a dog right now that has anxiety, you might in the future and it would be worth worth getting because it is very low cost and definitely worth it. And I know a lot of people that are watching this video either right now or on the replay, give me a hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay, by the way. And um, I know you guys actually work with animals. We have a lot of people who are groomers or um, vet techs okay. or veterinarians that actually uh, kind of watch these videos. And so this is like super smart because even if your dogs are awesome, the dogs that you work with, I mean, you know, you guys know, like they are going, to, there's going to be ones that have anxiety and we're just seeing yes, a spike absolutely. in a lot of anxiety in dogs these days. 
Um, Josette is wondering if this information, I, we know it's a dog anxiety summit, but will this information be good for other species like cats as well? Look, I think a lot of the principles and things we talk about are gonna, gonna be uh, of a level that are gonna help you understand and help any kind of anxious animal. I mean, we're, we're really talking about dogs today. And um, I will mention too that that if, if you're one of the followers of the essential oil vet and you do have a business and you, you have, um, you know, your community of people, if you email um, this beautiful person here who's sharing all this information about essential oils with you all the time, Dr. Janet, um, she can help you become an affiliate with, with yeah. the Pet Summit's crew and you can earn a few dollars um, yeah. or depending on your crowd, yeah. maybe quite a lot of dollars um, by sharing this information. So, you know, if that's you, when you get off the call, get down your keyboard and email Dr. Then Janet and she, she will tell you how to do that. Happy to help you guys do that. And yes, just that I definitely, I know from my, from my talk at least, um, the essential oils that, that we talk about that help with anxiety are across the board and actually help with all species. And so a yes. lot of the techniques Absolutely. and ideas that we're going to be learning, you're going to be learning, it's foundational, a lot of principles about yes. anxiety as a whole. And like one of the one of the talks that Dr. Edward was talking about is specifically about people having stress and anxiety and how that affects our animals, which absolutely applies to cats as well. They they just like absorb all of our stress. I think, oh, yeah. sometimes. So and dogs are the same way and horses are the same way. So so absolutely, I think this it's specifically a dog anxiety summit, but um, officially, but a almost every single talk is going to be applicable to other species as well. You just have to extrapolate that information. So that's, obviously that's the really on the medications and things like that is going to be totally different, but I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to be talking about specifics like that in, the, in any of the talks. So. No. no so, um, and so, you know, there's, there's a couple of really good reasons to come and join us. Number one mm -hmm. is if you don't have an anxious dog, you're going to learn a whole lot about how to pick up on early signs of anxiety so you can nip it in the bud. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to learn how to prevent anxiety. And if you do have an anxious dog, you're going to get just so much helpful things, um, you know, because you every dog with anxiety is so unique and different. And you never know which new thing you try might just suddenly make a really material difference for that dog. And, and my experience with treating anxious animals is that we often need to try and experiment a range of things. And even then, once we get to that place, you move along a few months and some things have worked, then you need to maybe try bringing some new things in, dropping old things. So I think the mm -hmm. more you can have in your toolbox, the better. And this is going to fill your toolbox up. Yeah. It, it covers the whole spectrum. I just love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Edward. Do you have any, any parting words with us or anything else that you wanted to talk about today? Or are you good? I think I'm, I'm, I'm empty. I think you've emptied me out. <laughs> oh, no, I think you have a lot more in there. But that's okay. We'll save that for the actual summit. Um, you guys go register today. It's totally free. Please share this video, share the link, invite your friends, essentialoilvet.com forward slash dog anxiety. If you want to be an affiliate for this amazing summit as well, shoot me a message, send me an email, um, and we will get you the information on how to sign up. All right, guys. I will see you later. Thank you so much you for your time today. Thank you, Dr. Edward. Bye. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.